All right, we're going to get into a little swing check here for Anthony. So starting off here from the beginning, overall posture and setup looks pretty solid here. Um, I do like the uh, the stance here. I would say that this amount of closed stance is probably a little bit excessive. You could probably go somewhere more, more like this. Um, if you get yourself too close, that can cause problems as well. Um, but nothing too crazy here. As you start your takeaway, you're going to see how your club uh, immediately goes underneath that primary swing play line. That's what we call an inside takeaway, meaning that the club sweeps inside very early. Now, I don't mind an inside takeaway, but here's where that can cause a problem. When it sweeps in like that immediately and you get it up to the top, your shoulder blade, your shoulder can only rotate one of two ways. It can either rotate from uh, forwards to backwards or it can rotate from backwards to forwards. Now, when you do an inside takeaway like that and you get it up to the top, your next move in that shoulder and that chest is going to be over the top. See that there? See how it goes underneath and then over? That's where a lot of your pulling mechanism is coming from. So now as you start your downswing, even though you almost get the shaft of the golf club on plane, with that over-the-top movement, you're going to be pulling very hard to the left because now the body is not going to have its best chance to swing out to right field. In fact, you're going to swing very hard to that left or third base position. And you can see it there in your chest and your shoulders as you come around. Okay, and so um, this essentially what's happening here is your upper body is doing all of the heavy lifting and you can see how still your legs and your hips are. Now, you do have a pretty decent amount of hip rotation, but you don't have a whole lot of hip movement other than that. Okay, so you're kind of staying back on your back foot. So that tells me you haven't transferred your weight into your left side and you're kind of falling backwards as your chest spins around your spine. So the way you fix that is when you get up to the top, instead of allowing yourself to go over like that, you have to immediately drop down this way to get that club on plane as fast as possible. And then you've got to fire the hips and swing out to that first base position or right field. You can see your club path goes immediately uh, to the left here as you come around, okay? And so that's where a lot of those issues are coming from. I hope that helps. If you need more help, sign up for my monthly coaching program. As always, aim small, swing smooth. Peace.